this is Robin Alley sharing with you our passion of all things cruise and travel. We are on day six of our Valentine's cruise. We are. It's a beautiful day, but it's a little bit overcast, but the birds have been flying around. I don't know whether you can catch this. Wow. Uh, they've been flying around the, uh, the ship. Oh, they are incredible. Can't really get I don't them. know whether the camera can get them, but they are absolutely beautiful. They are. And the, the water today, and it's yeah. beautifully hot and everything. Anyway, we have to dash off. We do. We're, we're going to do a kind of yoga and... We're having a few things in the spa today, and the first one is a yoga, 8 o'clock, so we've got about two minutes to get up to the, uh, the spa for the yoga session. And then we have a consultation with a Chinese yes. herbalist and acupuncturist. Yes. Each going to have our own consultation about that so it's all mind mind soul and body today we've got a dash on deck 10 we have the fitness suite and this is where all the gym equipment and everything is but it's also where they have the room to do their classes so things like pilates and yoga and they do stretching class every morning but it's bright and early at about 7 or 7 30 so we have come for our yoga session so this is an hour of yoga that we've got for a class um we've got it all to ourselves but we want to learn what's the difference i guess between yoga and stretching and um see, see how this benefits us this is a first for robert by the way <laughs> it certainly is <laughs> We have just finished our yoga session. So it was taken by, sorry, what I can't Albert. Remember. Albert, um, who was a fabulous yoga instructor. So obviously this was our first time at doing it. So he did stretching, he did breathing um, and centering. It was, it was amazing. It was really, really good. And I think it did open our eyes to how rubbish we are at <laughs> <laughs> our movement. Um, I guess it's it's kind of our movement and, and our- I definitely need to try the stretching class. The stretching, uh, we are so restricted and we are so stiff. It, it is an eye opener as to um, we need to do something <laughs> about it, I think. Um, All right, so so we've, we've, got, we've now got the timetable yep. and um, we're going to go and get some breakfast. We are. Just do a quick pan around this beautiful studio because they do a lot of sort of classes. They do a lot of classes in here. In here. And uh, there we go, there's a fitness studio. We'll probably do more on the ship tour, but um, that's it for now. After our very uh, energetic yoga class, uh, it was time to stock up on a bit of nutrition. So we popped into the Lido marketplace for breakfast. Um, got some omelette, bacon, sausage, tomatoes, baked beans, usual stuff. Um, just to keep us going through the day, you know, understand? So, so we like, we like to, to be healthy in moderation, so. Uh, We've come out to Serenity and we're sitting out of Serenity. It is a beautiful day. Yeah. Is that, yes, we're just eating in case we faint a little bit later on, some lack of food. <laughs> Nobody's going to believe that. <laughs> we love having our breakfast up here. This is the Serenity, um, which is just, you get the Lido marketplace where you can get your breakfast or lunch from and come out on here get your coffee or um and you can get juices as well from the bar here or a beer if, or a glass of champagne if you fancy for breakfast and sit out here so you've got the cover so you're in the shade but you get the view of the ocean and all this beautiful sea breeze coming through it's lovely so we've just finished our breakfast and now we're going to go off to the uh, we're having a chinese herbalist consultation this is in cloud nine. We're actually booked in for half an hour each, which I think is, is quite a long time. This isn't part of any package, and this is actually free to any guest on board um, the uh, Luminosa. Uh, no charge, we just went up. It was part of the, um, it's in the little brochure that you get from cloud nine. So we're gonna see what all this is about, but it's about um, traditional Chinese herbs and it's an individual consultation for each of us, not a group session. So let's go and see what all this is about. Absolutely, if you're interested in, in any of the Cloud9 spa services and what they are, what they include, there's a brochure that you can get. Have a look through that brochure. I've got one, I'll put it up on the website. Uh, it may be superseded, it may not be uh, up to date when you get it, but it'll give you an idea, but the latest one will be in the Cloud9 spa where you can go and you can get a description of all the services and things that, that are on offer. 
We're walking through the pool area and they've gone to work with the towels again. We've got a scene with crocodiles and octopus, penguins, little penguins here. They're really cute. And then there are towel animals on all the beds, all the sunbeds. There's a disclosure and disclaimer form that you need to sign before you go in and have any of these treatments, which is fair enough. Uh, it's not too difficult, but it also gives you an idea that you put down sort of any of your ailments and it gives them an idea about things that they can specifically talk to you about. We have just had, um, it's a complimentary half an hour um, consultation with the acupuncturist. So they have an acupuncturist and herbalist on board. They are properly trained. We had somebody called, and um, it was Wang. He is, um, he's done traditional Indian um, medicine, traditional Indian medicine. Mm. And um, so he does acupuncture, he does hydrotherapy, he does um, all about food. So it's the total mind and body um, uh, um, training that he has done. And that's the consultation we've just had. I think it's worth saying that, that it's half an hour each. So we were there for an hour. Actually, we were over there. And hour. we went, and he went through everything. And, and I just want to say there was not one cell didn't sell not it. one cell no. it really was just a consultation it goes through any ailments conditions medications concerns anything that you have which you, you you put on the form beforehand and and he'll talk to you about sort of like natural remedies and and that sort of thing and what might be causing it and how you might be able to sort of like do things and change your lifestyle to help it, it was it was really good and as I said there might be a feeling and I know some of the consultations you do have are really just an opportunity to sell you something and the seminars not one the, single they do seminars on, on here yeah. and, and basically it's like this is our yeah. products yeah. he was amazing and you may think this kind of thing is a bit of guff I, my mind is definitely now attuned to what he is saying and the kind of the, the tablets that I'm on and what, how I can come slowly come off them mm. and do things in a more natural way. And I'm all across it. I, I, he's given me things to read up on. Look, um, at, at the end of the day, the stuff I, he's talking about it won't do you any harm, so why not give it a go? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to do it, but I was really pleased with that consultation. I did not feel that that was a waste of an hour no, of our cruise. It wasn't. It was all. really. <laughs> we've got a bit of movement in the ship going. On. Anyway, that was that was well worth doing. Definitely, if you get an opportunity, it's available for everybody, no charge. It's not. You don't have to be in a certain category of cabin. It's just part of one of the things that they offer at the Cloud Nine Spa. Definitely, if you if. It's half check hour it out. Worth, well worth spent. We're now going to check out the gym. So the gym is available for everybody as mm. well. You don't have to book this in. You just pop up here and you've got all the bikes and exercise machines yeah. and the weights. I am looking to to get a, um, to get start using some of the weights. I need to get some muscle back. I've lost a lot of muscle. Um, and so I thought I would use this opportunity to check out what weights I can do so that if I then go home and decide to buy into a gym or whatever, get a gym membership, I don't have to waste a lot of time working out what the mm. weights are. So I'm going to use the opportunity here. Absolutely. And you're going to have a look at the exercise machines. Yeah, have a look at the bikes and the rowing machines, yeah. One thing, uh, hot tip though, outside of the gym, and it's not, I don't think it's well labeled, but there are locker rooms outside the gym. They have some fantastic saunas in there that overlook the uh, overlook the ocean and they're they again no charge open to everybody and they're on deck 10 in they the are rooms. not Check advertised out. at all you do no, not you'll find have them on the deck plan but i don't think you'll find them too much yeah, other places you don't have but... to buy into a package to no. use those so okay. we'll show you those a little bit later on yeah. and i think i think i'll probably have a have a go of those yeah. and then get a shower or something well, afterwards okay off we go to the gym That is us all pumped up and rocking and rolling. The pumped, ship's still moving. Pumped up, plumped up. <laughs> Feel like I've lost a lot of weight. 
Well, I feel really, really good, but I reckon by tomorrow I'm going to ache all over. I did, I did push it quite a bit there. Um, there's yeah. a great range of machines in here, though. There's cycle yeah. machines, there's uh, running machines, walking machines, there's weights. Uh, there's upper body, lower body, a whole heap of things. I normally wouldn't do anything like this on holiday, but you know what? There's a lot oh, of really? people doing it and it feels really, really good. It does. We've yeah. had, a, we've had a, a fitness. We've got some sessions in the spa this afternoon as well. Um, Al's having her eyebrows done and I'm having a uh, shave. That's why I'm looking a bit unshaven at the moment today because... Yeah, you're going to get a professional in, shave in for a, uh, a bit, Yes, so uh, we've got those two to look forward to this afternoon. We might find our way to the thermal suite at some stage, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how we go for time. So we're going to go quick rinse off and, and, food. and for some lunch. Yes, burgers, I think. Oh, <laughs> snags and pies. <laughs> and a couple of beers to throw it down. Uh, maybe, maybe some salad and a nice Yeah, we can toss that. We, we can do health tick, fitness tick. Let's go and stuff our faces with some, some goodies. <laughs> Let's go and see what there is. Actually, I didn't fancy a salad. <laughs> we did not succumb to the burgers or the burritos or any of that other kind of uh, comfort food. Instead, we did go for these salads and I got a, a salad too, albeit I did have some salami and ham on it, so uh, but it looks yummy and uh, blue cheese dressing actually looks really good. I'm looking forward to this. It is time for our spa treatment. So we are just missed a sign here saying about the grooming shave. Anyway, so here we are at Cloud9 Spa off for our treatments. Al's having her eyebrows done. I am having a shave. I'm going to get a close-up of the scruffiest. Stop moving away when I'm trying to get that close. You can't get that close. It's not got macro function. I can't. I can't. I want, <laughs> to see, I want to see all that stubble and how much exfoliation it needs. And then that's my eyebrows. I've taken all the makeup off them. So I'm going to get a, a little bit of a tint on them. Okay. Oh, you pull it. <laughs> Hello there. Hello, Mr. Carlos. That's me. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Let me take your seat over here. And over here, sir? Over here. Over here, ma'am. How are you, ma'am? Good, thank you. Okay. So I have some add-ons that I can have, which has a men's invigorating scalp scrub, a circulation scrub, scalp massage, and eyebrow groom. The problem is I banged my head the other day and it's still a bit sore so I'm going to stay away with anything on the scalp um, and I think we're okay with the eyebrow as well so I'm just going to go with the just going to go with the shave. Look I am going to show, I'm going to show our friends, look at this, this I walked into the branch of a tree and uh, it actually made a dent in its head, <laughs> it's kind of popped back now. Like a baby, I think, with a very soft scalp, luckily. And I shall have baby soft skin. <laughs> I shall have baby soft skin to match it. Uh, oh, it's filling these bits and pieces too. Okay, I will. So it's kind of a, just a disclaimer that if they slip with the razor, you're not going to sue them, I think. <laughs> if they slip with the razor, I might end up on pies and snags. <laughs> Sweeney Todd pie. Uh, while I'm here and there's nobody sitting here, I'm just going to give you a little pan round of this beautiful salon. And look at that. You can see out, there's floor to ceiling windows right round. While nobody's in here and Rob's just filling in his forms, I just thought I would show you the, um, the men's shaving room. Isn't that beautiful? So it's all separate, all private, all the lovely extra products over there. And there's the sink. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm well, thank My you. My name is Patrick. I'm going to be your barber soon. Thank you, Patrick. Yes. Right. We both had our treatments and we're back in the cabin after having our treatments done. My shave was excellent. I don't know whether... I really enjoyed it. Yeah, you enjoyed the experience. When I say I really enjoyed it, it's <laughs> it feels lovely, and I had a good chat with Patrick. It was it was very nice. It was a nice experience. And so, yeah. I mean, we said it before, didn't we, when we were introducing it, that you'd never had that kind of professional shave before. A lot of guys do go and get that done. Mm. Um, 
And you said you... It's just you a pity felt... it's going to grow back again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it only lasts a few hours. <laughs> but uh, I don't know whether it'll pick up on the camera. However, I have to say, Robert's face looks, I was going to say, amazing. It really does look... It looks lovely it, mm -hmm. after that shave. Because normally when, when Robert has a shave in the morning, um, it always looks dry and, and kind of like... a. There's a secret Rashing. there. Patrick, mm. my barber, told me there is a secret there, and he used it, um, the oil. So it was like it's really two shaves. Shave with the gel, and then he put the oil on and shaved with the um, the oil. And, um, so yeah, it's lovely and smooth. So you don't feel that that feels greasy or that no. you don't like the feel of it? No, I no, thought... no redness around the neck either. Yeah. Anyway, enough about me. But I'm just saying <laughs> that for a treatment, that was well worth doing. Mm, really? Yeah, 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 you, yeah, yeah you thought that was great. Um, so I went for the eyebrow. Uh, it's kind of the eye. It's wax. So they wax the eyebrows to, you know, um, give them a bit of shape. And then the tint over the top. As it's just been done and I haven't got any makeup on, I look like that mm. um, that female painter. You know the one with the... <laughs> Do you know the one I mean? There's a female painter who has a really, really thick eye eyebrows and she puts herself in her own paintings and she has like flowers and stuff. I'll get the name. Yeah. I know what I mean when I look at myself, but I think when I get when I have my hair down and I put on my makeup, mm. I think they look great. So that was good. We were going to go into the thermal suites, but that's uh, we, we, it's now going up to six o'clock. So I think it's time to sort of. Um, I think it's just, nap time, don't you? Well, not not necessarily nap time for me, but um, yeah, <laughs> we. Um, we did spend before we went into that because we were a little bit delayed. It was a little bit later than we originally booked. But uh, on the advice of our morning consultation, we went outside and got a little bit of vitamin D, uh, a little bit of sunshine, mm -hmm. which felt good as well. So and some green tea. They have green tea here. So mm. they have the tea bags that you can just go and make yourself. I went and had some beautiful green tea. Yeah. Calm. So we've done the whole whole experience. We have had a, a health and well-being day today. Um, and we can spoil it this evening on White Night Silent Disco Party Night. <laughs> yes. So time for us to take a little bit mm -hmm. of a break and then we'll get ready uh, for dinner and uh, do, the end, do the evening. Okay. Yeah. Tonight is White Night. So there is a White Night Silent Disco on the Lido desk deck. So this is where you get headphones and you can't hear the music if you haven't got the headphones on and they have about two or three channels that you can select from that play different music. So everybody dances on the dance floor to a different a different sound that they can hear. And surprisingly though, everybody's kind of just doing their own thing to the, to their whatever beat and it's loads of fun. Um, yeah, it, it is just lots and lots of fun. It is going to be a beautiful night. It hasn't been raining today and it's been really warm. So we're hoping for a nice night flat sun. Because we're all dressed up in white, we're going to get a few photo opportunities as well. Then, um, but before that, there is a show. It's the rock show tonight. This is where the team get on stage and they belt out all these rock numbers. And it's the it's the, sort of the Luminosa band, and that's the one where there's about nine, nine or ten of them in the band. Cracking one, that's great to watch. And then after, so we've got that, we've got the white disco, and then we've got acoustic classic um, no, numbers or something in the Ocean Plaza. Not sure how that one's going to go. It doesn't sound like there's going to be any dancing there. So we're going to have to put all our energy into the the silent disco and then maybe just watch those um watch them play later on let's see how that goes this evening another beautiful meal in the villa restaurant and now it's time to rock our socks off with the let's rock show featuring a fabulous luminosa rock band we've seen this before it is a brilliant show it's a bit of a montage if i remember yeah. rightly in places it's very but, high uh, energy yeah it just keeps going and going and going Woo! so oh looking forward to this one <laughs> we're rocking already know, that's true <laughs>
that was the uh, rock show for this evening on in the theatre. So it was a mixture of the, the dancers and the singers that we normally have, plus the Luminosa rock band. It was. So it was just a full stage, high power, high rock, and they used all the lighting and their backdrop with kind of... Got lots of lasers and stuff. Oh, yeah. lots, yeah. lots and lots going yeah. on, really high energy. So where are we going now? So now we're all dressed in our whites and we're going to go to the white silent party. white party on okay. the Lido day. That's good to me. I had to ditch that other bloke, Rob. He just wouldn't stop talking. So I've gone for the tall, strong, handsome, silent type. <laughs> And if you get fed up with them, you can turn them upside down and mop the floor with them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this is the White Night Salon Party up on the Lido deck. I think I just got it. Cotton Eye Joe, it's winning. In fact, I think, looking at the headphones, most people are actually listening to Cotton Eye Joe. Okay, so now we've got them doing the nut bush, which is very strange when you can't hear the music, but you can tell in an instant exactly what it is that's going on here. The White Night Disco is over and we're on our way to Ocean Plaza, but Al's just running some people who watch our channel. Hello. 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 Who have we got here, guys? Yep. <laughs> Who have we got? So, so we've got James and we've got Monica and uh, Scott here. And um, yeah, we're absolutely thrilled to be on your channel. And one thing we find is that it's so incredibly informative <laughs> and highly valuable <laughs> for all of those customers that are thinking about going on Carnival Luminosa. He's going to say the magic words, like, subscribe. Yes. <laughs> so like and subscribe and, and follow. And fo follow um, <laughs> so you don't our journey thing? on exactly. Carnival Luminosa. That don't is anything. Wow. Now, like Mr. Trevino. so much. That is so good. Thanks, Thank guys. You. Definitely be on the video. I cannot believe that we are actually having to queue to get in the nightclub here on the Luminosa. I've been queued to get into a nightclub for 40 years. Next thing they'll be checking the ID. Probably kick me out for being too old. In Liverpool, when I used to go to nightclubs, so it's like it's like a lifetime ago. The girls didn't have to pay to go in nightclubs. Oh, no, the boys always had to pay. And then sometimes they used to have free drinks for the girls as well. OK, we're at the front of the queue. I think we're going to be able to get in right now. So we did go into the nightclub. The queuing was not uh, because it was busy. It was uh, checking the IDs of the younger guys. It was busy uh, it, was, it was, but it wasn't sort of like packed to the fact that they uh, needed to queue. Anyway, we listened to a few songs. Um, it wasn't really for us, so uh, we're headed down the Pinano Bar to it see was. what's going on at the no, Pinano Bar. it wasn't really for us. It was for me, because I'm a <laughs> modern gal. But it wasn't for this old funky. I know, I'm just an old funky. <laughs> All this modern music. Oh, no, so. Anyway, <laughs> so we've headed down the Pinano Bar see what's going on here. They've got the pianist on. End of day six. It is our health and well-being day. Health and well-being, uh, health and well-being <laughs> day, and white night night. Yes. You are my white night, and we're very proud of ourselves because we've managed to keep pristine white. <laughs> Look at this. Dis this despite drinking red wine, and having tomato <laughs> sauce with dinner, and, and bloody, bloody mary, <laughs> and, and, and now <laughs> pizza. <laughs> So, I better hold this. I do not want to spill it. Right I don't spill it in my lap. So yeah, so we we kept. It was a great day. It was absolutely packed. 
yeah. non-stop, all yeah. day. We, we did Love lots them. of different things uh, that we wouldn't normally do. And uh, then this evening, we just went from event to event to event. Yeah. We love it, just going from yeah. one thing met to another. Met a lot of people, a lot of people. So hi to everybody that we met. Yes, today. yes, you are awesome. Yeah. And do you know what? If there's something you don't... That's what I love about this. If there's something you don't like, it's either only on for half an hour, so you just sit and have your drink and watch it. And if you don't like it, just leave. There's other things going on. Mm. Love it, love yep. the, love the whole thing. Now we're going to tuck into our pizza before it goes cold. If you've liked this video, please hit the like, please hit subscribe and hit the notification button. We will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. From us, from the Carnival Luminosa on day six, we'll say bye for now. Bye. Bye. If you didn't believe me, there we go. Robert's just caught me actually putting the hairdryer on my pizza to heat it up again and it really does work it's so hot there yeah, look gets it all crispy again <laughs> do you know what yours doing no thank you <laughs>